now significance of biological species concept uh, so this concept make it quite clear that word species in biology is relational or relative term mean it's a relative term it's a very important term relative mean that we recognize species by relating it to others for example if you have a species a and a species b so how will you say that this is species a and this is species b because this species a and species b they are related you are relating certain certain characteristics you say that this animal has feathers b has feathers and a has hair so one character and there are at more so for example on the basis of this one character we say that uh, okay are this uh, this uh, species b belong to birds because it has feathers and this species having hairs belong to species a is belong to mammals because it has hairs so it's a relative term we relate and then we isolate species on the basis of those characteristics from each other or we say it's reproductively isolated a is reproductively isolated from b so we consider them as species so this theory was authentic and uh, it wholly rejected the typological species concept and the species concept it stated that species is not a fixed entity but it is changeable with with space and time so now the, the idea of fixity of species were totally discarded you now people were believing that species is not fixed but it's changeable with space and time uh, this uh, theory also solved the conflict of changes in species by means of evolution so when evolution was uh, when this theory was accepted the uh, changes were accepted so there were no hindrances or no obstacle for evolution and people accepted evolution uh, frankly speaking this theory solved the conflict between fixity of species by naturalist and fluidity of species by evolutionists so there were two two groups naturalist who were believing in fixity of species and evolutionist who were believing in the evolution of species but with this theory with this concept this thing because it became very clear that evolution is a fact the importance of biological species concept lies in the fact that it concept its use in large number of biological disciplines particularly ecology physiology and ethology so maybe uh, uh, we cannot uh, apply biological concept to the all fields of biology or zoology but is uh, you will see that this um, concept is applicable in many disciplines of zoology or biology that's why it is very important uh, now we will uh, study uh, difficulties in the application of biological species concept Biological species concept is the most applicable species concept, but you know everything has certain um, like uh, drawbacks. So, but in certain cases we fail to apply it. However, we cannot say on the basis of those uh, uh, few matters uh, that this is not a valid concept. So, application of biological species concept uh, may be limited, but we should take it uh, or consider it as a whole because. It, its general validity or its whole validity is very good it is valid because it is applicable in most cases now we generally faced with difficulties in applying biological species concept because of three main reasons number one insuffic insufficient information biological species concept uh, provide insufficient information uh, the second one is uniparental reproduction so uh, you know the best uh, thing in bi biological species concept is mating but in uniparental reproduction there is no mating so there is problem and the uh, evolutionary intermediacy and let's see and uh, discuss them one by one number one insufficient information now individual variation uh, in all its uh, form often raise the doubt whether a certain morphotype is a separate species or only a phenomenon within a variable population mean for example, uh, we uh, already, uh, I think we studied it, uh, there was a lecture on phenon. So phenon or morph or morph type. Individual variation in all its form mean if there is a population of species and they have certain different phenotypes. So there is not a clear cut uh, message from biological species concept that those morphotypes or those phenon are just variables 
in the population or these are actually separate species so there is no complete information regarding those phenotypes or morphotypes second individual variation like uh, as i told you the phenetic or the morphotypes or the phenotypic uh, variation include what sexual dimorphism a differences polymorphism now you know a sexual dimorphism if you uh, uh, study uh, various uh, birds and their uh, like their structure their male and female are very different from each other sometime uh, when you look at two birds one male and one female of the same species you will not believe that they belong to uh, one uh, species because the male and female they are too much different from each other morphologically so what these uh, two morphotypes or these two phenon are uh, separate species or though they belong to uh, the same species so there is insufficient information and on the age differences in the polymorphs different where more polymorphs are there you know uh, in a same colony there, there are in a colony of obelia there are how many uh, polymorphs how many different forms are there so uh, those uh, phenon the yeah, phenas or phena and those morphotypes are whether separate species or they are same species there is no uh, proper information in biological species except to uh, recognize them similarly uh, there, there are difficulty to neonatologist what are neonatologist neonatologist is a person who works with preserved museum specimen as you guys will go and uh, you will collect specimens and you will preserve them so in in, in labs we have uh, some uh, preserved uh, specimens so the person who works with preserved museum specimen is known as neonatologist so so neonatologist and paleontologist paleontologist a person who study fossils they can identify Uh, the they can identify species by morphologically so they, uh, uh, from the morphology a neonatologist and a paleontologist can identify a species but a non living species they do not mate so how he will uh, uh, identify them biologically for example there is a fossil so how we will uh, so how a paleontologist will recognize it whether it is uh, reproductively isolated from whom so there is a problem and there is insufficient information again the second uh, problem uh, is the um, uniparental reproduction like for example asexual groups now apomectic we discussed this thing in the previous uh, lecture or asexual groups do not fulfill the criteria of parental breeding which is the most important feature of biological species concept so in biological species concept the main thing is the reproduction so if there are apomectic groups or asexual groups so then how we will um, apply this concept to them self fertilization uh, so fertilizing hermaphroditism and other forms of automexis parthenogenesis vegetative reproduction gynogenesis these are many kind there are many kinds of uniparental reproduction so we cannot apply biological species concept here so there is a problem in replication over here they are frequent among lower vertebrates with parthenogenesis occurring even among insects lower vertebrates up to reptiles so, so even in some reptiles parthenogenesis occur so it is not an applicable biological species concept is not applicable Uh, actually, it is the automexis and parthenogenesis. Gynogenesis is defined here. Okay, see, this is the automexis and gynogenesis. So this one is the gynogenesis and this is the automexis. I think I already you guys know about the automexis and the gynogenesis. The uh, second uh, thing, jo hai, that is alternation of generation. So in some groups of animals, particularly aphids, gall wasp. Daphnia, rotifers, and diagenetic nematodes. There is regular alternation of generation. There is a, between sexual and parthenogenetic generation. There is a, there is a like routine. They go through parthenogenesis uh, generation, then sexual, then parthenogenesis sexual. So there is alternation of generation. So again, we cannot apply this concept over there. In such cases, neither kind of generation qualifies for separate species status. So as uh, nomenclature recognition is not given to the temporary forms, 
so like uh, the, the 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 one form is temporary the inter and alternation of generation there are two stages so temporary stages in nomenclature we do not recognize a temporary stage so there uh, we cannot accept a temporary stage so again we cannot apply bio biological concept to our hair uh, or absence of uh, sex and telotoki so what is telotoki telotoki is a greek word telos mean female and togas mean birth mean where only female give birth as a type of parthenogenesis in which female are produced from unfertilized egg is for example in aphids so a female reproduce uh, are produced from the unfertilized egg so sample uh, there is no like uh, sexual reproduction there is no mating of male and female so again there is problem so there are approximately 1000s of animal species in which male sex is absent or non functional such all female species are produced by special type of parthenogenesis known as telotoki so again th there is a problem in application no depending on the meiotic mechanism some are homozygosity promoting as in few insects group while some promote heterozygosity so here some uh, 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 some uh, insects they promote uh, uh, like homozygosity or some promote heterozygosity these heterozygosity promoting parthenogenetic forms are actually products of spontaneous or recent speciation example number 1 a and b are two related species for example a and b are two related species they interbreed and produce a hybrid they are related species they are not same species keep in mind a and b are related species they produced a hybrid and that hybrid now and produce hybrid and this uh, this hybrid f switch itself into parthenogen parthenogenesis so then we cannot recognize it by biological species concept we cannot only recognize by morphological we can only now classify it in the morphological or ecological species concept so there are problems we, in certain cases we cannot apply it example number 2 this is the case with all female species of lizards genus nidophorus nemid sorry nemidophorus so it's also uh, the female species of the lizard genus uh, nemidophorus which are found in south western united state of mexico they produce parthenogenetically example number 3 similar in salamanders and fishes and in one case in grasshoppers for example they they form part uh, form uh, they are uh, they, they 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 form through parthenogenetically or by uh, telotoki uh, in case of rana esculenta and pycelopsis a pycelopsis is a type of uh, fish native to mexico and central america so the, the the male chromosome are lost during meiosis and only maternal chromosomes are left which result into a haploid egg they are parthenogenetic because the sperm which is from another species only induce development the sperm is only for the induction of the development they have no role in reproduction so biological species concept cannot be applied here because there is no interbreeding this phenomenon of parthenogenesis is known as pseudogamy or uh, gynogenesis and species which are uh, performing this kind of parthenogenesis are called klepto species so such species are known as klepto species which are produced by pseudogamy or by gynogenesis the third uh, problem is where it cannot be applicable as evolutionary intermediacy so when you were a species is studied some uh, population may be found that are in the process of becoming separate species and have acquired some but not all the attributes of a species uh, or distinct species like super species and semi species so always these form which are in are which we which we call the intermediate form so what we will do with them so there is no clear cut uh, way of classifying these intermediate forms and biological species concept so again we cannot apply it here so the various difficulties which our taxonomist face with evolutionary material intermediacy are as follows like acquisition of reproduction isolation without equivalent morphological differences for example the first one sibling species where species are reproductively isolated but they are morphologically similar so there is no clear cut uh, indication or explanation for Uh, in biological species concept for this 
acquisition of strong morphological differences with outer proteostation subspecies. On the other hand, there are species which are morphologically very different, but yet sexually they are not isolated. So again, there is a problem. How can we uh, like uh, recognize these forms? So there is no uh, nothing in biological species concept. The occasional breakdown of isolating mechanism hybridization means reproduction isolation may break down even among good species. Usually, uh, this leads to the production of occasional hybrids which are either sterile or of no or low viability and so do not cause any taxonomic difficulty like mules and hennies. So now, Equus cabellus, horse ko kehte and Equus acinus donkey ko kehte Acinus and Equus, uh, sorry, Acinus and cabellus are very good species, different species. But even among good species, sometimes breakdown may occur and they may mate and they may produce occasional hybrids or those hybrids sometimes they may be may or maybe they are like of low viability or sometimes they are sterile but maybe sometimes they are fertile so there is now difficulty how we will explain this uh, through biological species concept like mules and hennies uh, when male donkey and female horse mate so they produce mule and if male horse and female donkey uh, they, they reproduce so it will produce a hini both are hybrids mule and hinis parthenogenetic species formed through hybridization now hybridization did result in the production of individuals with one chromosome set from parental species a and another from b parental species lead to doubling of chromosome set allo tetraploidy and animals where cross fertilization is always compulsory, a new aleotetroplyte can maintain itself by switching to parthenogenesis. So, we don't have any explanation for these things. New semi species and allo species. Now, we already know what is semi species and what is allo species. So, in, in biological species concept, there is no such explanation for such forms like allo species. And for semi species, so there are no uh, explanation in biological species concept for these terminologies. So, uh, this was all about the evolution uh, uh, about the biological species concept. Now, we will uh, go through a little bit about the rest of the evolutionary species concept, like there is evolutionary species concept. So, evolutionary species concept was uh, first uh, put forward by Grant in 1971. He supported biological species concept but only for sexually reproducing forms. So the same viewpoint was expressed by Bangladesh in 1954 and George Gellard Sampson in 1961. So we face problems in application of biological species concept in evolution at certain points. So that's why evolutionary species concept was given. So this concept of grant is applicable not only for apomactic population but also uh, it is applicable to fossil lineages. So Sampson defined evolutionary species concept as it's a lineage of ancestral and descendant sequence of population mean where ancestors and descendants they are tied by a single lineage evolving separately from other such groups mean not only if we, we take an example of species A and a species A has a lineage of ancestral and descendants and they are evolving but at the same time there are many other species in the environment which they are sharing with and they are also uh, evolving so but but the species but the thing is that this species A will uh, like it will um, uh, uh, constantly uh, it will, it will, uh, this, this species A will evolve separately and it it will have a tendency to conserve its own unitary role in the evolution and its tendencies so this like for example a lineage of ancestral descendant ancestral descendant sequences and they are evolving separately from other groups 
and they have its own unitary evolutionary role in tendencies. So this was the definition of species according to the evolutionary species concept. Really in 1978, Rika said this concept and stated that species is a single lineage of ancestor descendant population means a species is a single lineage of organism and which maintain its own evolutionary tendencies and historical fate. Criticism. The drawback of this concept is that it is actually defining phyletic lineages or phylogenetic lineages or ancestral descendant linkages or lineages, but it is no, it's not the actual definition of the species. Actually, the, 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 these definitions are actually the definitions of the phyletic lineages. There, there is not the definition of species, so that was the main criticism. Then mate recognition a species concept. So this was put forward by Peterson and Lombard et al. in 1987 uh, they, uh, as a replacement for the biological species concept. So a species is the most inclusive population of individuals by parental organism that share a common fertilization system. So if you look to the definition, it is the definition of biological species concept all. You can see in another another definition which is given by them is members of each species recognize each other as potential mates no matter if they are different morphologically and behaviorally. So again, you can see it's uh, the same definition given by them only they they added this morphology in behavior. So uh, the organism recognize each other as mates. This recognition uh, may be active. Now how they recognize each other? The, how this recognition? Uh, occurs it is behaviorally mean uh, through courtship rituals or uh, responses uh, or passive as in mechanism of gamete fusion so um, they, by, by this they mean that they may recognize mates and may recognize each other as courtship rituals or um, responses and it may be passive like gametes fusion they recognize the gametes they have like specific receptors on their surfaces and they recognize each other so that is the passive mechanism or active mean when uh, two animals they uh, they dance or do some different uh, gestures to attract its female criticism this concept has not received support bulletin in uh, in 1987 and uh, Coney et al in 1988 did not have supported this concept and found that it is misinterpreted as original idea mean they just misinterpreted uh, mess explained the idea of biological concepts, so this was rejected. Phyletic species concept um, is a pre, actually pre darwinian concept, and this concept morphology and physical appearance was criteria, while genetics was ignored. So, according to them, if two organisms are resembling one another morphologically, so if they have morphological resemblance, irrespective of the genetic cohesiveness or similarity, then they are recognized in some species. For example, if species are morphologically similar, they are similar species, it doesn't matter if they are different genotypic, gen genotypically or not, but if they are morphologically similar, so this is wrong or it was not accepted. Phylogenetic species concept was another concept, so this concept is actually formulated by uh, of evolutionary species concept and this concept was put forward by Samson and other co-workers, that why it is simply called Samson. In concept according to this concept species is an irreducible, irreducible mean as a basic grouping of organism diagnosably distinct from other groups and within which there is a parental pattern of ancestors and descendants isolated species concept according to this species concept species are systems of population mean the gene exchange between these system is limited or prevented by a reproductive isolating mechanism I mean a species as a uh, reproductive or genetic unit, genes flow inside them and this flow is restricted by reproductive isolating means they are isolated from other groups so that their genes cannot flow into them. For example, a species A is a close group and their genes are circulating inside them and this flow of gene to the species B is restricted by isolating mechanism, reproductive isolating mechanism means they are isolated from B reproductively, that's why their gene cannot flow into them. So species have different population within species gene can exchange but between system gene cannot exchange because of reproductive isolating mechanism. 
cohesion uh, species concept uh, cohesion species concept was given by Templeton in 18, uh, 1989 he attempted to collect ideas of all the species concept and convert it into a new or one way definition cohesion species concept he used ideas of biological species concept met definition species concept evolutionary species concept ecological species concept and genotypical uh, species concept and he narrated that a combination of ecological and reproductive cohesion is important for maintaining a species evolutionary unit and integrity so it's clear mean they will uh, live in uh, the same ecology and they will uh, have reproductive cohesion mean they will not reproduce with other groups so by this by maintaining these two things the species will maintain its evolutionary unity and integrity or species as the most inclusive population of individual having phenotypic cohesion due to intrinsic cohesion Ecological species concept uh, was put forward by Van Buren in 1976 and according to this concept a species is a lineage so there's clear that occupies an adaptive zone many many different from that of any other lineage mean a species as a lineage which which adopt to a zone a ecological zone which fit to them and they are different from other lineages which evolve in another zone which are fit for them so a species is an another lineage that occupies an adaptive zone many very different from that of another lineage and its range and which evolves separately from other lineages outside its range so this definition was given by ecological species concept then by bio biochemical species concept this species was the concept was given by florkin in 1964 according to this concept groups of individuals with more or less similar combinations of sequences of purines and pyrimidines mean the dna uh, sequences jo hai bases in their bases in their macromolecules of dna and with a system of operators and repressors leading to biosynthesis of similar amino amino acid sequences so you know uh, operators and repressors are actually uh, found in the the, the genes which repress or operate a gene or repress a gene so if the dna sequence of certain organism are similar so the operator or repressor operators or repressor will also be the same and the biosynthesis of the amino acid sequences will be similar that's why those two organisms will be similar and will be the same species so according to this species Uh, according to this concept species can be defined like in uh, in terms of macromolecules uh if you have any question uh, kindly ask in the uh, whatsapp groups uh, through voice messages or you can comment in the class um like in the in the end uh, if we uh, summarize the whole concepts so none of the concepts alone are explanatory for all the aspects of species but biological species concept as a concept which can explain a lot of the aspect of the species but not biological species concept alone is sufficient so we will also get the help of the other concepts like from evolution species concept so to fill the gaps we will also go for the help of evolution species concept for the biochemical species concept sometime we will get the help of uh, ecological species concept and many more thank you so much for uh, listening to me uh, if you have question please ask thank you allah hafiz take care